Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Sandra Block. I am the president-elect of the World Council of Optometry. And I want to offer you a happy optometry week. It is truly an honor to be able to sit here and represent the World Council of Optometry at this exciting time. I would venture a guess that you don't realize what contributions you as individual practitioners are making to your patients' lives. It is amazing to see what optometry in Bangladesh is capable of doing. The reality is the World Report on Vision allowed us to think about how best we can serve our patients, both now and in the future. The idea of being integrated into the healthcare program, no longer being siloed as a separate entity, but being part of the health team. The opportunity to offer integrated patient-centered care to our, to our patient population, which simply says we want to be part of the whole continuum of care from the idea of promoting good eye health, to talking about prevention, to doing a great job in providing primary eye care, making the right diagnosis and appropriate treatments, knowing when to refer them to the secondary or tertiary level, as well as thinking about how we can participate in rehabilitation, which essentially means low vision services or vision rehabilitation, vision therapy, things like that, that help our patients when they have problems that can't be solved simply with, with optical corrections. The profession right now is in a great place. We, as we've learned over the, the course since the report has been uh, highlighted, we now know that we are part of the continuum of delivery of eye care from the very basic community level up through the tertiary level. And our per part of that continuum really is in the delivery of primary eye care services, being recognized for our knowledge and our expertise in doing that, as well as the importance of us wanting to broaden our scope of of knowledge and expertise and be able to provide more for our patients in the long term. There are some things that that I'd like to allude to. You know, the, the profession needs to be much aware of all of the research that's being done that help us do a better job in delivering care. The first issue would be the myopia aspect. The World Council of Optometry released a statement that said myopia is no longer an simply an uncorrected refractive error, but now a disease entity, and we are best suited to address it. The research that's come out has given us a number of tools that will allow us to maybe slow the progression down so maybe we can prevent the development of some of the eye health problems, but also some of the even more current research is starting to show us that there may be places early on before the myopia develops that we can help stop it from developing and certainly will stop the complications that will come in as someone grows older with a moderate or high level of, uh, of myopia. Within that, I'd like to say that the, the profession is in a place where we are learning, we are part of the global level of making the decisions as to how to address those things that create the highest level of visual impairment and blindness. We know that uncorrected refractive error are, is certainly where we can show how strong we are as a profession, but also in the effective coverage of cataracts because we can make the appropriate recommendations for referrals, for surgery, but we can also be part of ensuring that the effective coverage expects that someone sees 20, 40 or better. That is something that we can easily support ophthalmology after the surgery. So co-managing patients is certainly a place where optometry can be in the future in addressing those two things that are really the cause of the most Pre pre preventable visual impairment, refractive error issues, as well as cataracts. With that, I want to say thank you very much for all that you do for your patients. Uh, remember, the World Council is here to support optometry worldwide. If we can ever help you as you move forward, please do not hesitate to call us. I wish everybody a happy optometry week and have a wonderful day. Thank you and goodbye. This is Dr. Stern from. Boston in the USA. And I'm here to welcome you to World Optometry Day. 
To celebrate World Optometry Day, remember that we are one worldwide community and we are here to support each other. Remind everyone you know that life would be very different without good sight and vision and that optometrists are or should be the primary eye care providers. If the care they have received has caused them to lose hope, let them know that you are keeping up with the best techniques and treatments, and that can make their lives better. From the latest diagnostic equipment to better eye disease treatment, and from nutritional counseling to vision therapy and low vision for rehabilitation, we can change lives every day. Spread this message and it will be a win-win for you and the patients you serve. Have a wonderful World Optometry Day and best of luck always with the patients you serve. Hello everyone. I am Dr. Rajiv Prashad, Secretary of Indian Optometric Association, Vice President, Asia Pacific Council of Optometry, and also serving on the board of World Council of Optometry. Friends, World Optometry Day, 23rd March, highlights not only optometry as a healthcare profession, but also the contribution of the profession in supporting access to eye health care as a human right. This year, we are celebrating World Optometry Day with the theme, Expanding the Optometrist's Role. And this is the time. So to celebrate World Optometry Day, let us all reaffirm that each one of us as individual optometrists are committed across the globe to advance accessible eye health care. I wish you all happy World Optometry Day. Thank you. Hi. My name is Ali Ahad, General Secretary, Bangladesh Academy of Optometry. Dear Optometrist of the World, we are thrilled to extend to your cordial invitation to participate in World Optometry Day on March 23, 2023. This special day is fantastic opportunity for us to highlight the importance of eye health and the invaluable role optometrists play in primary eye care as a part of celebration. We would like to request that a video message expressing your thought and feeling on importance of rising awareness of eye health issues and encouraging regular eye exam. By sharing this video on social media and with your patient and colleagues, and public. We can create a widespread impact and make a meaningful difference in the lives of millions of people worldwide. We firmly believe that together we can make a significant contribution towards promoting eye health and creating a healthier, happier world. We look forward to your participation and eagerly await your response. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Robert Lederman. I'm working in Jerusalem and I'm happy to join with the messages coming out on World Optometry Day about the importance of checking eye health. It's so important to be able to diagnose early conditions like glaucoma, cataract, uh, age-related macular degeneration. The earlier these things are caught, the better your chances are of coming out with an improved outcome. Cataracts, people are walking around with cataracts and they think uh, they're just going blind. These are conditions which one can have an operation to save the vision. Uh, Age-related macular degeneration, if caught early, uh, can be treated, monitored, and you can come out with a better visual outcome. Other health conditions, high blood pressure, diabetes, and, and the blindness caused from untreated diabetes is devastating and if diabetes is picked up early uh, things can be monitored and uh, treatment can be received which again can receive a better outcome which in the case of vision means seeing better throughout your life. So the importance of regular eye examinations so that someone can look at the back of your eye and at your cornea and at your lens uh, cannot be overestimated. So important. 
I would like to add as a developmental optometrist, someone who specializes in looking how well we do seeing. You know, seeing is something we do. We have to move our eyes, we have to team our eyes, we have to focus our eyes. And these things are also affecting our life in great ways, affecting our children, affecting the way we read, the way they learn, the way we function at work, or the way we read music. All these things have to do with our visual system, how we, our ability to scan letters in comfortably, accurately, with ease. And don't forget, while we're trying to read, we need to be able to do all the parts of seeing at a level which allows us to do all the thinking at the same time. And that is not easy at all. So many children are being told they have learning difficulties. Some of course do. And some of those learning difficulties are indeed based in language. But so often, as I've seen over the last 30 years, I've seen 16,000 people in my office over that period. So many patients have been told that they have a learning difficulty, where the truth is they're struggling with visual issues which can be rectified through the use of glasses and optometric vision therapy. So if you are listening to this and you are struggling yourself in reading, you are skipping letters, skipping lines, spacing out, not remembering what's being, what you're reading, even though if you listen to a book or if a book is read to you, you do remember everything, um, you should really try and find the services of someone who not only checks the health of your eye, and your ability to see small from far, your eyesight, but someone who's really going to check your vision in the most comprehensive way and who also either offers full optometric vision therapy services or refers out to someone who provides those services so you can find the full resolution to your visual issues and live the fullest life and live life to your full potential. All the best. Hello to everybody. My name is Dr. David Berko. I'm an optometrist practicing in Haifa, Israel. Having been in private practice for nearly 50 years, I would say that today our role is not only primary care, but also taking into account and considering the myopic children that enter our practice. Uh, the time now has come for us to take the pledge. Myopia control must be part of our practice management. Or as I would say, it's time to play the role. Do myopia control. Thank you. I'm Dr. Tom Arnold in Loveland, Colorado in the United States. I'd like to say a few words in support of World Optometry Day. Optometrists can be found in almost every country in the world, delivering services that, to improve the sight and the vision uh, in people of all ages, making their lives more productive and making them much, much happier. Optometrists not only check vision and prescribe eyeglasses and contacts, but they also monitor for eye disease, such as cataracts and glaucoma not only specializing in, in optical devices, some optometrists uh, are specialists in low vision care for people that have less than optimal vision. There are pediatric optometrists that help children uh, develop normal eyesight as they grow. There are people that do a vision training, sports vision, and low vision for people that have lost sight due to disease in the eye. So you see, we, do, we fill many different roles and different niches. Optometry has been a wonderful career for me, and I've been happy to contribute to the lives of my fellow citizens all over the world. So I urge you, if you are thinking of optometry as a career, to seriously consider it uh, and pursue those opportunities. And if you're a patient and haven't been to an optometrist, uh, in a while, I urge you to get your eyes checked because the secret of preserving sight is to have regular eye, eye exams, not only of vision, but of the health of the eye. So again, uh, I hope you'll all join me in celebrating World Optometry Day. Hello there. 23rd March is World Optometry Day. 
optometry is the science and art of providing perfect vision care to the world. And optometrists are the professionals who dedicate their life in providing you with the best possible vision. So visit your optometrist today and wish him a happy World Optometry Day. And let's all celebrate the faculty of vision. Thank you. Happy Optometry Day for all of you. I'm Naresh Pradhan, Program Director of ICA Institute from Sri Lanka. So optometry practice worldwide, as well as in our region, also within our country, is very variable, which is I, Sri Lanka is not exceptional. In Sri Lanka also, you get uninstitutionally, untrained family business people running, doing an optometry practice, and also two to four years graduate people who are practicing optometry. So optometrists in Sri Lanka, they serve government hospital, government institutions, private hospital, optometry practices. More than that, these optometrists, they serve in army, air forces and police too. Optometrists in Sri Lanka, we do use diagnostic drug, do some minor like removing foreign bodies to, you know, so clinical part. Also, the latest as well as the advanced diagnostic procedure optometrist practice in Sri Lanka while assisting and co-managing with ophthalmologist. With all these things also, unfortunately in Sri Lanka, optometry profession as well as optometrist awareness on public Public awareness on optometry and optometry's role is very, very low. So we thought this year, World Optometry Day, we take an opportunity to reach to 2 million population of this country, physically or from mass media, from school children to the parents, to let them know who optometrist is. Dear optometrist, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We know that refractive error is the second leading cause of blindness. So, early detection, early correction, and early management by a spectacle and other device, which can save the eyes, save the life, as well as community, country, and globally. Thanks a lot for all. Welcome. We are welcoming to upcoming World Optometry Day over the country from Bangladesh Academy of Optometry. I am Naimam Rasal, uh, working as the optometrist trainer, Red Connect Limited Bangladesh, and also working as a optometrist trainer, Jai's Vision Care India. So we are working a lot to develop our education, ed optometry education program. Uh, according to uh, international standard level and uh, thank too much thank you to all our colleagues and teachers and well wishers also including Mr. Hashan Tuit sir who is our uh, advisor and uh, Mrs. Kathir Chandam including uh, Mr. Rajiv Prashad and uh, Mount Rakhon sir who are always uh, helping and supporting us to develop our uh, community and thank you. Hello everyone, I am Mohammad Bulbul Akhtar, Senior Consultant Optometrist of Al Noor Eye Hospital, Dhaka, Bangladesh. We all optometrists of the world are togetherly celebrating and enjoying World Optometry Day on 23rd March. Greetings from Dhaka, Bangladesh. <laughs>